Moving into a new place is an exciting experience. Moving to New York City is a dream come true for many. But to avoid common mistakes people do when renting a place, in this video we will break down five of the most common mistakes renters make. First, and maybe not so obvious one, is not getting renter's insurance. Remember that landlord's insurance policy does not cover your personal property, which means that if there's a fire, flood, or any other incident that damages your belongings, you are not going to be covered. Most insurance companies offer renter's insurance, which is very inexpensive actually, ranging anywhere from $100 to $300 per year. A small price to pay for peace of mind. Second mistake a lot of people make is relying on an oral contract. What that means is that the landlord or the superintendent may make verbal promise to you for maybe fixing that ceiling fan or repairing the air conditioning after you move in. Don't take their word for it. Get it in writing. The same goes with the promise of not raising your rent next year. Put it in the rider, ink on the paper. Otherwise, you may be in for a surprise if market picks up. Another common mistake, number three, is not documenting a damage when taking a possession of the apartment. You may think that the landlord already knows about that huge scratch on the floor or a cracked mirror in the bathroom that was already there before you moved in. However, you may end up being charged for it. Do a walkthrough punch list with your broker or the superintendent. Take pictures and attach it to the lease, or at least email it to the landlord so that there is a written record of it. Getting a free month rent or a couple of months free can be sweet and get you into that great apartment that you normally couldn't afford. But beware, a year goes by really fast and unless you plan on staying there for only for a year, your rent will reset and skyrocket to the actual market price. This is a fourth mistake I've seen clients do. And the final mistake I want to bring to your attention is no. leaving the apartment in the same condition as you found it minus normal wear and tear, of course. It is amazing what a coat of primer and a bucket of spackle paste can do to ensure that the landlord has no reason to withhold your security deposit. I hope you found these tips useful. That's it for today. Join me next week for another episode of an insider guide to New York City.